Okay, wonderful people. That is a second attempt. Okay, uh, I have no idea what was the problem. Uh, I mean, I did uh, <laughs> like an hour ago. And uh, Mike, thank you very much for being here. I tried to reset everything and there was no problem on, on my end. Uh, like I mentioned, I am uh, paying for one gigabit of internet speed-wise. But I was checking, I'm not getting that in all. I'm not getting that in all. And uh, it took me a little while to figure this out, what is going on. Uh, but, uh, I am using AT&T and uh, sometimes they do uh, some not really professional stuff uh, when you're paying for one until you start checking the speed and uh, the trick I use I go on a fast.com and when you hit the fast.com somehow they do have algorithm uh, to detect that okay uh, please let me know if quality of picture is good if uh, sound is good on uh, Facebook on uh, YouTube Twitch if uh, no <laughs> problems I hope there's no more problems. Okay, and uh, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. And I hope uh, 2022 going to be much better year than 2021. I know some people saying uh, 2021 was bad year. Uh, but uh, yes and no. Okay, uh, yes, it was uh, challenging. Uh, definitely, a uh, lot of you had a lot of problems. Uh, financial problems, health problems, and some of us, uh, we actually lost some people. I know some people who died, who passed away. Uh, uh, some people uh, you even don't expect uh, they would die, but they did. Okay, they did. Uh, so now I see that not many people connected anymore. <laughs> it used to be a, a lot more people. But anyway, let me uh, get to the subject. Okay. So I am uh, still working on those pieces. Uh, that is the first piece. I still have to do the second piece right there. So I've got the uh, wood ready. Uh, and uh, last week, or not last week, this week, I didn't have a chance to work on it uh, a lot. I didn't uh, actually even carve it. Uh, I had to do some uh, different stuff, but that is how it looks, okay? So that is how it looks now. I mean, it's a full 3D. It goes uh, right on the ceiling. There's, uh, you can imagine, there's going to be a ceiling. There's going to be a crown molding behind, and that is the piece. But let me get right to the subject. I know some people are going to catch up. Uh, they're going to watch it uh, after life. But uh, the subject of uh, today, what I would like to talk about, of course, it's tools. Okay, and uh, I named this stream uh, "Antique, Old." made tools versus modern new tools okay when you look at the work of uh, old masters uh, like if you go to england or i should say when you go to england uh, and just the uh, grill and gibbons work or just to check the wallace wallace is, is it's another great carver and i, I mentioned that previously in my opinion uh, it's actually I mean, he was even better carver than uh, Green Gibbons. Uh, uh, what Green Gibbons did and what Wallace did, if you compare work, so the second guy, Wallace, uh, he did a lot more complicated stuff from a single piece of wood versus uh, Green Gibbons used just a layering technique. Okay, but when you look at the work, what they've done, and uh, look at the depth and how they get behind and so on and you ask yourself how in the world did they do that i mean how is it even possible with the tools and of course when i'm talking about the tools i'm thinking about the tools i have and i have a lot of tools modern made i've got like about half a thousand gouges and chisels just the modern made uh, uh, but the problem was I found out later limitations of modern makers. 
limitations uh, of couple things sweeps and shapes again maybe not uh, uh, sweep uh, and I'm gonna repeat myself I've, I've done it previously but I'm gonna say to you just in case if you don't know what the sweep is when you look at the tool the curvature of the tool this right here okay let me show that to you a little closer okay so every tool has a curvature so I'm talking about that curvature that curvature that curvature called sweep okay that's the name of it uh, sweep maybe it's not the big problem with the sweeps but the problem I see with the shapes of modern makers I found out that old makers a lot more shapes not the sweeps but the shapes when I'm talking about the uh, shape what I mean by that I mean take a look right here okay that part how it's shaped in this case you can see it's an absolutely straight tool it's shaped you know <laughs> just it's not actually shaped it does have a sweep but it doesn't have a shape that is absolutely straight tool uh, modern makers they limited themselves pretty much uh, to just a few uh, few shapes so that is a straight one uh, they do have some bented one or bent in this case that is a long bent and you can see that shape uh, starts bending uh, forward uphill and that's called front long bent tool okay uh, they they do have modern i'm talking about i still talk about the modern uh, like a short bend you look at the tool and uh, the bend itself of the tool starts closer to the edge so that is the short bend and uh, some of the manufacturers like ashley isles ashley isles they do like a medium bend you can see it starts uh, a lot farther if i'm gonna compare that uh, to about the same sweep that's gonna be right there so you can obviously see that ashley isles has like a medium bend okay of course uh, some modern manufacturers not all of them some modern manufacturers still do a uh, back bends that is a back bend and that's by file so that is the back bend and that's it okay and that's it and i believe just because nowadays it's uh, not driven by the uh, by the art but by the business okay so that is just because of the business part what people buying that's what they sell that's what they produce how are they gonna survive if people not buying okay let me check if the quality is still there looks like it is uh, also uh, comment okay comment like it subscribe it uh, please I really do appreciate again what I showed to you it's pretty much limited to only five shapes it's only to five shapes maybe you can find some uh, uh, other manufacturers uh, do a little more than that but that's the major five shapes what they produce and like I said when you look at the work of old masters you ask yourself how in the world did they do that I mean get that inside it's impossible to get inside and carve that, you know, right from the back side. By the tools, what I have, modern tool, that's my question, it was a few years ago. Uh, I couldn't. I mean, I just, honestly, I couldn't. That's impossible because uh, limitations of the shapes. Then I started to research antique tools and I found out. Uh, antique manufacturers even the same manufacturers they still produce some tools like a henry taylor they had a lot more sweeps and a lot more not the sweeps i'm sorry uh shapes okay let me just show you one for example uh nowadays let me get uh, some of the henry taylor okay maybe i can just get the short bend what they call 
a short band tool okay let me show that to you okay here's the short band and uh, if you look at that short band let me get that little closer to you that is a modern henry taylor tool okay so that is the short band tool what they produce now compare to the same brand henry taylor but compare it what they had previously so we're talking about a really really extra short and i know uh you probably um don't see much difference but it's a huge difference okay take a look now if i'm going to compare to other brand even the shortest one i think file file does the shortest version of the spoon gouge right there is the shortest spoon gouge can you see the difference can you see the difference that is the shorter uh, the shortest version of the spoon gouge and that what uh, henry taylor did in 19th century not 19 yeah 19th century that is the 19th century so that is the antique henry taylor acorn okay so that is a unique tool nobody else does it anymore okay absolutely no people i am planning by the way uh, to produce those on my own line for those of you who don't know that i am planning uh, to do that uh, let me show you something else okay like this one okay like this uh, small tiny guy take a look take a look it almost doesn't have a sweep whatsoever not a sweep but uh curvature or bandsit part okay see how tiny that is how tiny that is and uh, i'm gonna again compare that to the modern short band that is an extra short okay huge difference that is an extra short beautiful beautiful tool nobody's i mean nobody and i know that for a fact nobody's doing it anymore no longer okay no manufacturers okay let me see if i'm uh, still there and please comment if you like what you see and so on now the question what i had in the previous um, uh, stream which i had to delete because of the quality problem with the internet connection uh, the question was where do you get your uh antique tools and i have uh, i have a lot i have a lots of antique tools uh, even um, uh, if you look on a bench i've got like yesterday you know the bunch of antique tools show that to you okay a bunch of antique tools uh, with the different brands of course you know sometimes they just put you some junk which i didn't want to buy but i still bought it for the reason uh, for the reason of uh, uh, for the brand okay so let's say this uh, this guy let me show that little closer to you and i'll explain okay this guy first of all look that is a broken tool absolutely <laughs> you know the edge is absolutely broken and some of them completely you know destroyed like this i still going to be uh, able to fix it but this is a broken one and i, I and i paid uh, i paid um, adolf очень приятно слышать рад вас видеть тоже and i paid uh, for uh, uh, those tools not as uh, you think it wasn't it wasn't that expensive and all sometimes i can get like uh three five bucks three five dollars per gouge really really cheaply but look at the brand of that same tool okay first of all that is a hearing brothers uh it's an english maker but if you just flip that tool you can see this tool has another mark price metal and if you look closer to that part it says milan paris okay and let me tell you what that means uh in 19th century 
manufacturers competed between themselves. Uh, and the main ones, they were Addis and the Hearing Brothers, the main who actually got the prize. Uh, in 1859, it was in England, and uh, 1861 was another competition, was in France, in Paris. And uh, Hearing Brothers and also Addis, uh, uh, they won both of those uh, competitions. Okay, so, which means, uh, so w when I bought that tool, I knew what I'm buying. So that is a, I mean, I paid like five bucks for it, I think, but it's uh, absolutely worth it. By the way, uh, like it and subscribe it. Don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell if you're watching me on YouTube and so on. But uh, is it worth it? Absolutely worth it. But uh, I'm buying uh, by the bunch, okay, by the bunch, and I can fix it. So, of course, I mentioned a couple uh, uh, brands, which is uh, the biggest brands. In the past, uh, one of them uh, would be, the most famous would be probably Addis. Let me find some of the tools by Addis. Uh, I have a lots of lots of Addis tools. Right here's the Addis. Here's the Addis one. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to catch it or not. Uh, this one is a Addis and Sons, I think. Let me spell it for you. That would be like this. All right, so Addis and Sons. But uh, uh, that is uh, one of the one of the most famous brands. And look at the shape of that tool. And I know for a fact nobody's absolutely nobody's nowadays produce uh, that type of shape uh, so what you can do you can get really 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 in a deep areas you know just to get underneath i mean let's say in an area like that so and there's a flower on the way and uh, there's no way you can get with another tool but just because of that crank just because of that shape i can just get on inside oh absolutely uh, absolutely uh, you know, I would collect all of those tools, not for just collection. I would collect them for just the uh, work I do. Okay. So that is uh, uh, one of the best brands. But now when you're talking about Addis, when you're talking about Addis, let me get you a little closer for you can just uh, see again the brand. Do you see that guys? I mean, can you read it? Uh, and you can see uh, uh, it's one of the logos they used uh, and they used multiple they used uh, 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 different ones uh, of course when we're talking about the edges tools when we're talking about edges tools uh, uh, they have like a 10 generations they started pretty much in 17th century okay it's the one of the earliest known brands in England in 17th century. They used to actually uh, write on the tools when they were established. But uh, uh, if you love English woodworkers, wood carvers, like uh, 16th and 17th century, uh, well, of course, uh, Green and Gibbons died exactly uh, 300 years ago in August. Uh, but uh, Addis was established approximately at the same time so the last three years of green gibbons work at his shop was actually close by to green gibbons shop so which means the original guy original at family guy was apprentice of the wood carving tool shop who provided the tools for green gibbons and in the beginning in the beginning when they started to produce the tools Addis produced all the original shapes of what Green Gibbons and another master wood carvers back then used. Okay, so that is why Addis had the most shapes. Now, like I said, they started 17th century. Uh, and well, actually, I'm sorry, I apologize. Yeah, 17th century. No, 
eight, beginning of 18th century because uh, uh, Greenland Gibbons was end of 17th and he died in the beginning of uh, uh, 18th century, right in the beginning of 18th century. But uh, uh, my point is those guys knew the shapes and that's what I'm hunting for. I'm hunting for the original 18th, beginning of 18th century shapes. So like, you know, like that guy. Okay, really, really good tools. Uh, ten generations, they passed uh, in names. Uh, it was Edis, there was Edis and Sons, uh, different logos, different places, and so on. Uh, so, uh, and let me see, Clarissa answered something. So what you're saying, uh, would I recommend to buy if the price is good? Yeah, I mean, it all depends on the tool. For example, I just showed you uh, this tool. And uh, let me show you a little closer again. See the shape? And there's no modern manufacturers do that. I would pay any money for that type of tool. Okay, any. So because uh, it's uh, so rare. And, and again, uh, Addis, the steel they used. Of course, I mean, uh, England is blessed with uh, all the iron in the ground and uh, all they have to do just to dig and just uh, take it to the blacksmith and, you know, just produce the metals or steel, if you wish. Of course, they kept the secret. Uh, and that's my preference. If, uh, if I would buy just the antique tools, I would just uh, go with uh, number one with edges, all of the generations of edges, okay? Uh, the steel is excellent. Some of the tools uh, by Edis I have, they just are so uh, nicely preserved. Uh, second, second after Edis, let me find uh, the guy right there. So that would be those guys. That would be Herring Brothers. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to catch it on the camera or not. Herring Brothers from London. And again, you can see it's a price metals. Okay, so those guys, the second choice of mine. Reason why? One of those hearing brothers, he used to be apprentice in Edis's shop, and uh, he actually got married one of the daughters of the Edis family. Okay, and uh, then he decided to go apart and start his own business but the quality of uh, workmanship quality of steel is still same as Edis all right so and he kept that quality for a long time and they they've got multiple shops uh uh late later on but even if it's not those two by the way if you don't know how to spell it uh let me let me write it down okay <laughs> i'll try to not to misspell let me see first Okay, I'll try to spell it for you, just a second. Yes, by the way, don't forget to like it and subscribe. That would be, oh, again, I don't want to misspell. <laughs> so we're talking about uh, Hearing Brothers. Here you go, Hearing Bros. Okay, wonderful people. So that is the uh, second brand I would just uh, go after. Of course, there's uh, some uh, other brands you can find. Uh, so you can find the uh, raw brand. I'm not sure if I, I should write that down or not. You can find uh, some, um, uh, like for example, this one, uh, this guy here. It's uh, C. Myers. Okay, C. Meyer. Uh, uh, tools and uh, those tools. I'm not sure if you see that or not. Okay, let me know if uh, if you're able to catch it. Maybe I can just get another one, right there one. That's that's the better one. Okay, so that is another brand I really love, and they do have uh, beautiful beautiful tools. Again, C Myers. I'm not sure if I'm uh, even pronouncing that the right way. C. Myers, it's another brand that I really recommend to buy if you can get 
hands on it. Just don't be, you know, thinking about, oh, is it too much? It's not. It's a, one of the best brands, C. Myers, okay? And now, um, of course, uh, there's other manufacturers, uh, like, uh, let's say, this one is, um, uh, I mentioned Henry Taylor, but there's a more antique ones, like a Hugo Pattenhoff, right here. So this one is a uh, Hugo uh, Pattenhoff. Uh, those ones you can't probably find any longer. Really, really, really uh, hard to find. It's a Hugo Pattenhoff. All right. So excellent, excellent steel. And see the sweeps. Okay. So this one is a three and a half sweep. So we're talking about the curvature of the tool okay so this one is a three and a half guys do you know anyone do you know anyone who's making three and a half sweep or two and a half sweep nowadays you can buy only like let's say if you are in europe so if you just go to a shop and buy swiss made tools it starts if it's a gouge starts with number three and go up to number nine Okay, there's no two and a halves, there's a three, there's no three and a halves, no four and a halves. I mentioned the limitation of sweeps, and uh, there is actual limitations of sweeps. Those guys made uh, like between two and four, uh, uh, two and three, three and four, like three and a half, four and a half, five and a half. I have some of them, uh, and sometimes it, it uh, uh, really, really uh, good idea to have that. Uh, uh, Adolf, очень приятно. Вам тоже здоровье, благословений, с новым вас годом. Uh, благословит вас. For those of you guys who don't know what I said, I said that in Russian to one of the famous uh, wood carvers in Russia, uh, Adolf Yuryev. Uh, go, ahead, go ahead and check his uh, 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 YouTube channel. He is actually a really, really excellent wood carver. Uh, you, you should click on his name and just go right there. Okay. Uh, so, Happy New Year, everyone. So, uh, well, uh, Mike, so what you're saying, uh, you would love to have uh, three and a half. It's not three and a half, it's actually two and a half. So what you're talking about, it's those guys. Okay, so those guys are Ashley Isles, and that's uh, Chris Spy Tools, and that's a two and a half. That's what you're talking about, okay? That's the only uh, company that's actually making two and a halves, but no three and a halves, no four and a halves. So that is uh, what you're saying. Chris Pai, uh, two and a half. Chris Pai uh, is just, uh, of course, uh, for those of you who know about a little bit wood carving, uh, he is uh, a somewhat famous master wood carver. Okay? Somewhat really famous wood carver. So other brands, other brands. Uh, this, this is a really, really brand that would be marples and sons before just the marples so it was a really really wonderful brand marples and sons i'm not sure if you're going to catch it or not uh, you should be able to catch that name marples and sons of course later later uh they you know they produced also tools uh, that was a uh, 20th century uh, and that was just the marples okay so that was just the marbles right there. Still excellent tools. Still really, really unique uh, shapes and so on like that. But it's a really good brand. Marples. Okay, let me think about uh, other ones. There's uh, uh, lots of different ones. Like I said, there's uh, Raw. Uh, there's, uh, I don't know, Bug Brothers. Yes, of course, for those guys uh, who... Uh, in the United St States, you love the old Bug Brothers. And uh, let me see if I do have uh, some of the old Bug Brothers. Right there's an uh, old uh, Bug Brother, and that's a short band V tool. Right there is a Bug Brothers. The old Bug Brothers. Excellent tools. Excellent. Absolutely. Um, Excellent. Not any, any longer, but those tools are really good. 
what else, guys? Uh, like I said, I have uh, so many. Some of them I even forget of what brands I have. So let me see. Oh, yeah, that is another uh, Bug Brothers. That is another Bug Brothers. Uh, and that's also really, uh, it's a slide band. It's a really, really good uh, uh, tool by, by the Bug Brothers. Let me see what else I can show to you. Some really, really good brands. Uh, I have a lots of uh, hand retailer old ones, like uh, like this one. Uh, it's an old one, but also see, it's a really slight bend. If you compare to what I showed you previously, this huge bend. See how big difference is. And sometimes you really need uh, just a slight bend set tool. I hope uh, you understand uh, you understand what I mean by that. Why I love those uh, antique tools, uh, and uh, of course I, I didn't show you all uh, uh, because I have uh, a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't want to just uh, spend time and brag. Uh, here's another Marples and Sons, and you can probably see that much better. Marples and Sons, and that's a fishtail. Uh, not too many companies. Uh, doing a really good fish tails. I'm not sure. Can you read it? Marples and Sons. Okay, that's a beautiful fish tail. Uh, I have multiple, like uh, smaller versions. Uh, you know, like uh, also fish tails, but um, the same brand, Marples and Sons. And I found myself. I reach a lot for those uh, tools. I, I think you're able to catch it, right? All right, and uh, let me get another one, My, maybe. But uh, you got the point, okay? I believe you got the point. Uh, if you compare old tools versus modern made tools, you just sometimes can't find the right shape and the right sweep. Uh, now, the question was, where should I buy it? What place should I shop? First of all, uh, uh, in United States, if you are in United States, go to antique shops. Sometimes old wood pass away and vibes, they don't know what to do with all the tools collected. Uh, they just uh, take it to the antique shop and sell it for really, really cheap. But inside of those shops, you can get really cheaply some of the unique beautiful tools okay in those shops it's a wonderful place to shop just antique when i travel i always go to antique shops and just to check if i can find some you know some really good tool and like i said i paid like uh, three dollars five dollars fifteen dollars twenty dollars twenty five dollars thirty dollars for some of the tools it's still cheap it's still cheap in europe uh, you can also find uh, on the flea markets and so on uh, those tools, but probably the best place uh, to find those tools on eBay, okay? And uh, on eBay, just to keep an eye, I, I, I can tell you a secret what I do. Uh, I am looking for misspelling. Uh, let's say uh, somebody brought to some antique shop some old tools, like I showed you, like this one, for example, okay? This one is a Marples and Sons, but you barely can read it. And I cleaned that. Okay, I cleaned that. But uh, people bringing to the shop some old, old, junky looking ones, like uh, really, really rusty. Let me find the, what I've got just yesterday, right here. Okay, uh, one of the tools I'll show it to you. Okay, so this one. Okay, see how. Uh, in a bad shape that is not really bad but it's all rusty and you barely barely can see who made it okay the toolmaker it's almost impossible to read so what those guys do i mean those uh, uh antique shops uh they just uh, trying to spell the best they can but they're not woodworkers they are not wood carvers they don't know those brands for example, I bought uh, the set of the tools. 
it was misspelled. Uh, we know the brand is Adis, but it was like a wiped. And the guy listed that as a Alice. Instead of this, he's got L's, okay? Like a L shapes. And he listed Alice and Seek Tools. And he sold that for so cheap, like five bucks per tool, or three or five dollars per tool, the whole set. And I jumped on it right away and I bought it right away because I know that. So, I mean, it's just the misspelling is my help. So, I am looking for the misspelling. By the way, like it, share it if you on uh, uh, Facebook. Or even you can just uh, share the link from, uh, uh, from you, your Facebook. That would help a lot. So, now, uh, misspelling is number one. You just to get wood carving tools and look for the misspelling. If if you find the normal spelling, keep an eye the pricing, okay? Because if the guy knows how much it's gonna cost, you're gonna pay a lot. You're gonna pay from 45, 60, or oh, 70 dollars. But sometimes it's worth it. Even that, I mean, it's uh, you know, it's still possible to get really uh, good shape if you offer that. And uh, it's okay to pay, and even for shipping. I'm in the United States. I'm I'm buying some of the tools from England. And the tool itself going to be like 15 pounds, but I have to pay for the shipping about 20 pounds, a lot more than uh, the tool itself. But is it worth it? Oh, absolutely, that's worth it. Let me show you one of the tools, for example, uh, uh, this one, okay? Um, take a look. See the shape? That is an absolutely gorgeous shape. Let me get closer to you, okay? See that shape? And uh, if you would ask me how in the world would uh, you use it, the same way, like uh, other tools, uh, you would just get, let's say you've got the flower right on the way, and you get around the flower and get on inside. And my flower is not on my way, okay? So I hope you understand what I mean by that. The shipping was like twice more than I paid for the tool. But is it worth it? Oh, absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. Uh, people... I don't want to take too much time of yours. Let me read some uh, comments. And uh, if you do have any questions, please comment, 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 comment uh, in the live stream and also below after the live stream. Let me see. Clarissa, yes, misspelling is my secret. I shouldn't give it away. But uh, like I said, I am looking for those misspellings. Uh, that way you can get really cheaply the best tools you can find, okay? Stefan is saying, I will be able to make my own, but I don't know the old shapes. That's the problem, okay? Uh, so, uh, uh, for example, I do have a catalog of the old tools. I know uh, how they look. And, uh, yes, you can make for yourself, but, uh, um, uh, again, you don't know all the shapes, all the twists, because some of the tools, even nowadays, uh, let me show you some of the interesting looking ones for example this one it's a ashley isles i'm going to show it to you this tool it's a micro tool but look uh, look at the shape okay so there's a handle and uh, see it's it's a v it's a v tool okay it's a v tool first of all it bends to the side it bends to the side it also bends backward let me let me do that really really slow for you can see and catch that specialty tool. Here you go. Hope you got the point. And that's the only one manufacturer who still does it. It's uh, Ashley Isles. Okay, of course one of my favorite brands just because of the steel and some of the shapes like this. See, that is a really, really, really wonderful uh, uh, shape. All right, let me see if I miss something. Bernie, very interesting what you point out, the old tools. I have had people uh, tell me that uh, some of the old tools are worn out, uh, too much sharpening, but in fact, they had a different shapes compared to the modern tools. Yes, absolutely. Not only that, I mean, take a look again at uh, the tool I showed to you. Some of them, they shipping broke, okay? 
absolutely take a look the edge it's just like destroyed and i'm getting all the time like that okay hold on let me show you uh, some other tools uh, um, like a destroyed this one right here the same idea completely destroyed completely destroyed there's not even a sweep but why did i buy that tool uh, i bought uh, that as a set uh, like uh, all tools and uh, the price was for the whole thing and you get sometimes junk you know junk like you know that guy for example who sold me that set uh, he actually got some uh, old handles i don't need them uh, the socket for the socket uh, chisels uh, but he listed that as a wood carving tool set of the number of the tools but i bought it anyway just because i know i can get use of it and the, for the price of one gouge of the modern one i can get bunch of uh, old tools and some of the shapes like for example this shape it's 100 percent worth it take a look it's uh, it's the 45 uh, it's a 35 degrees v tool yeah i didn't even touch it yet because uh, i just got it yesterday but that is uh, the 35 degrees v tool which is uh, one of my favorite favorite uh shapes not the shapes but the sweeps of the v tool okay let me read uh, some more yes that's what i'm gonna do that's what i've done uh I not only uh not only grind uh, so you're saying you could grind the you know the, the new tool from the old tool not only that uh, i can reshape it i can actually put that uh, uh you know in the heat I mean, I can just redo complete the whole thing. The steel is still there. Uh, steel is excellent, okay? And I can just uh, do blacksmithing myself with no problem. I, uh, I don't need uh, expensive, uh, complicated uh, uh, equipment for uh, for that stuff. By the way, uh, if you just uh, buy a steel, it would more it would be more expensive for you. If 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 you would buy really good steel, I'm not talking about just. Uh, Hold on just a second. Let me block someone. Hold on, please. Here you go. My apologies if uh, if you are uh, getting some uh, spam. Okay, but you got the point, wonderful people. Happy year everyone i hope this year is going to be much better than last year uh, let the uh, lord almighty bless you in all and with all okay so uh, uh, be happy be blessed happy new year and uh, i hope it's going to be blessing in financial area in health in your families uh, and you if you do have a children and grandchildren uh, so i want to bless those uh, you know grandchildren and children uh, and i hope uh, i expect a second grandchild uh, this year so have a good one people oh comment 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 please